Hey guys, it's Tick and Tag. Welcome back to Borderlands 3. Yeah, where we uh <laughs> kill people for fun. Sometimes. And money. Oh yeah, did you wanna check out my commander deck this chapter? Yeah, this and you can start reading it too. This like. this tonight. Ah! This tonight we play. Yeah, why not? And I'll play my new one since I barely got two before. No! That one's too good. Don't touch mine too hard. I don't think so. I think mine's not good enough. Mine's not gonna go. Not gonna, it's not gonna go smoothly for me. Ah. Ah. Nailed it. Um, that is one I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't have them with me. I took them out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to read them off. You gonna go get it? Sure. Okay. Entertain them. Entertain them. I will attempt to. What the fuck nothing? was that? Holy shit. Oh, you're just doing some flips? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about this guy up here. Hello, guy. Or art thou. The fuck is this thing? Princess Tarantella the second. Hello, sirs. I'm gonna kill this thing. Whatever this thing may be. <laughs> ah, fuck, I'm dead. You just sing it yourself. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to, you know? I'm it's like, da 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 I'm entertaining. I'm Look at, listen to me. Hot I'm so cool. Look Hot at pocket. that. That's a big bug. He's gonna touch you. Oh, yeah, I'm alive. Yay. I'm alive. Yay. I am alive. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo. Look, man, sometimes you just gotta sing, you know? I, I actually do it a lot. <laughs> okay. Stop that. I sit and sing to myself quite often. Hey, fuck you, pussy. Also, okay, so. I'll just, I'll just tell you my commander. Okay. It's Cranko Mob Boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Cranko Mob Boss. If ever, for everybody who don't know what Cranko Mob Boss does. For some reason. Uh, he's a legendary goblin. Uh, you tap it, you create X one or a goblin creature tokens where X is the number of goblins you can fill. So it's a mono red. Yeah, it's a mono red, and he just doubles your goblins every turn. Does he burn, maybe? Uh, maybe. Let me read the cards. Please. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to guess. I'm trying to get ahead of the curve. I don't, I don't think there's really any burn in there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's actually kind of surprising for a mono red deck. Yeah, no, I don't remember putting really any burn here, if any at all. It's hard to remember all the cards, because I mostly, most of them were handpicked, some of them were, but then most of them were, like, filler goblin cards that I found, so. Oh, so, like, goblin cadet. What the fuck? Why can't I, why can't I move? The you're, fuck is this? This is upsetting. Or, uh, Desert of the Fervent. That's a land. And it's about to tap, tap for one red, or pay two cycle. Oh. All right. Uh, okay. Brightstone Ritual. One red. Add, add red to your mana pool for each goblin in play. Oh, hell yeah. So, it's great, honestly. Yeah, no, that's amazing it's for a goblin really deck. So it's a nice, it's a nice uh, slapdash. Tons of red mana. Okay. Boots of Speed. Oh. What? Weird shit keeps happening every time I get into cars. I'm, like, getting frozen or something. It won't let me fucking move. <sighs> that's funny, though. Okay. I'm literally just trying to drive away. <laughs> You're not alive. Apparently. All right, Boots of Speed. Uh, equipped creature gets plus one, plus zero, and has haste. Equipped for one. And it's a one drop. So it's basically just a way of giving your Cranko haste, basically. Mm -hmm. Or another creature if you need them. Yeah. Uh, goblin Recruiter. Alright, uh, this guy's a fun one. So, pay two. He's a goblin. He's really old, but... Uh, he comes into play. Search my library for any number of goblin cards. Reveal those cards to all players. Shuffle your library. Then put the cards on top of your library in any order. So... Basically, if I play him, I get to I get to make sure that my next few cards or whatever, however many, are the goblins specifically that I want. Yeah. So it's kind of a way of just making sure I get what I want sooner rather than later. All right, Castle Ember. It's a land. Hands battlefield tapped. Unless you control a mountain, add one red. Pay three, tap it. Creatures you control get plus one plus zero until the next turn. Uh, okay, Wild Guess. Pay two, sorcery. As additional cost to cast it. Uh, discard a card. Draw two cards. Uh, Swift of Boots. Uh, Goblin Pile Driver. So pay two. Protection from blue and 
Whenever he attacks, it gets plus two, plus zero until the turn for each other attacking goblin. Did you do this again? Yeah, with a card that he'll actually accept and let us in with. Oh. Uh, all right, here's, here's an important one. Cons uh, conspicuous Snoop. Uh, pay two, two, two. Okay, play the top card of your library reveal. You may cast goblin spells from the top of your library. As long as top card of your library is a goblin card, he has all activated abilities of that card. That's awesome. So, like, you know, goblin pile driver. Every goblin card. Yeah, I don't... I, this guy... Goblin rogue. Or not rogue. Cadets. Uh, the next guy, which is a goblin warrior, he's double strike. When, whenever a goblin orc... I control deals common damage to a player, exile the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. But so basically though, his ability comes into play with a lot with some of the other cards that are in here, and I'll let you know when we we get to that set. Yeah, when you start comboing. But actually his ability goes with um, Goblin Recruiter. Because Goblin Recruiter lets you to fill the top of your library full of goblin cards. Oh yeah. And so you'll always have a goblin card on top of your library and you can always play that. But there's a specific thing you use it with. All right, uh, Goblin Bombardment. <laughs> Sacrifice a creature. Goblin Bombardment does one damage to any target. <laughs> this one. Uh, Kiki Jiki. <laughs> Mirror, Kiki Jiki. Mirror Breaker. This is the one you need. It's a Goblin Shaman, and you gotta put him on, on the top. Haste. Uh, tap it. Put a token that's a copy of target non-legendary creature you control onto the battlefield. That token has haste. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. So, this is very important. This is a very important combo. Of this ability. Using him with Conspicuous Snoop, infinite. It goes infinite? Yes. Because Conspicuous Snoop is a, is a copy uh, or has all activated abilities of the goblin on top of your deck. And so he's on top of your deck, and his ability is to make a to copy of a target non legendary creature that I control and put on the battlefield. Uh, it gains haste until end of turn. Or it, that, yeah. That token has haste. So, basically, the way that works is you use Conspicuous Snoop to copy himself infinite amount of times. Yeah. And then you combine that with, like, uh, Brightstone Ritual, which gives you one mana for every goblin you play, which is, eh, like, a thousand. Let's say a thousand goblins you play. Yeah. You just, they're all going to, like, 99 of, or 99% of them are all going to disappear at the beginning of the next turn, or at the end, turn, at the end of your turn. But you're going to gain a thousand mana. And using... Goblin Recruiter, the idea is that the whole top of your deck is all the goblins in your entire deck. Mm -hmm. And so that you're just going to play all of them immediately. And they'll all have haste and destroy your opponent in that turn. Every single one of your opponents, too. So, that's the main big combo of the deck, is being able to do that. Because then also you tap Cranko as well, and then now you have like 2,000 freaking goblins. Right, and Just, that's like really fucking quick. That's outside of the fact that it's a, a thing. Like, mm -hmm. uh, that they're not permanents; they they disappear at the end of your turn or whatever. Yeah, so th so half of them will disappear, but you have a thousand now, and you didn't have to build up to it. Yeah. But anyway, so that's the combo using this guy. Please speak. Yes, sense. Let's get looming spires. Looming spires will protect. And his battlefield target creature gets plus one plus one against first strike until the turn. Tap it. Add one red. Outpost Siege. Uh, as it enters the battlefield, you use cons or dragons. Cons. At the beginning of your upkeep, exo top card of your library until the turn, you may play that card. Dragons. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, Outpost Siege deals one damage to any target. So that also adds to that. Because once all of those guys disappear, boom, a thousand damage to any target. Yeah, since they or, hit the a, graveyard first. Yeah, and a thousand... And it doesn't even specify that, it just leaves the battlefield. Yeah. And it's and it specifies for each one, so it's a thousand damage divided however you want. Which means anybody's dead. Yeah. Uh, okay. Goblin Crater Maker. Uh, two drop. Pay one. Sacrifice him, choose one. Goblin Crater Maker does two damage to tar to a target creature, or destroy target colorless non land permanent. So it's a little specific, but uh, definitely has use. So that's the main combo with the deck, or one of like the really cool ones, I guess. Because obviously one of the other cool ones is using Cranko a bunch. Right. And there's other stuff in here that boosts that kind of stuff. Okay. Jaya Venerated Fire Mage. Plank 
if another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one to that permanent or player instead. So not great, but it's good for like lightning strike or whatever. Uh, lightning well, it's red sword, any red sword. So even if a creature deals damage to you, it deals one additional. Right, but like that's not. It's not amazing. That's not super. But it just kind of sits there. And then his minus two ability is he deals two damage to any target. Counts as three, I guess. His, yeah. his own ability. Okay. Siege Game Commander. On enters the battlefield, create three one or Dom creature tokens. Pay two, sacrifice a goblin. Uh, he deals two damage to any target. Uh, Chirurgeon. Chirurgeon. Whatever. Goblin Chirurgeon. He's a one drop, zero two. Pay, uh, sacrifice a goblin to regenerate a target. So, oh, that's pretty good. yeah, it's pretty great. It means I can just sack one one tokens to save Cranko or any of my other, uh, you know, worthwhile creatures. Yeah. And I can do it as many times as I want. So, like, yeah. even if you board wipe, the idea would be that I could sacrifice a bunch of tokens to save all of my necessary. Right. Or save half of my goblins, basically. Yeah. Stack half to save half. All right. Unless I do some shit like uh, until end of turn, freaking what's it called? Uh, can't be regenerated. Yeah, basically. Because I know I have some of the those cards. Yeah, the, yeah, that that's one for sure. Uh, okay, impulses pilfer, impulsive. Pilfer. When it dies, create a treasure token. Encore. Four. Exile this card from your graveyard for each opponent. Create a token copy that at that attacks that opponent this turn of eight. They gain haste, sacrifice them at the beginning next, and instead of activating this Each opponent create a token copy. So just a copy of any creature they have? Yeah, I guess. I think so. Which means I can uh, copy, not Cranko, obviously, but like Siege Game Commander or something, so I get extra goblins or some shit. But, or this guy, Zealous Constructs. This one's a part of a combo. So, not a goblin, sadly. But haste, and when it enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent until end of turn. Untap that permanent, it gains haste until end of turn. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Yeah. Um, there's usually lots of stuff you can do with lots of stuff. Though. But he can take control of any permanent. So, it doesn't have to be like, it could be lanes. Right. Which is cool. But he's a 5 yards. So. Okay. Outnumbered. Instant. It deals damage to target creature equal to the number of creatures I control. For one man. A goblin war party. War party. Uh, choose one. Create three 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens, or creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain haste until it's turn, and then entwine it is three. Oh, this is what I was thinking about. Uh, this is from the, the D&D set. Uh, you see a pair of goblins. That's the name of the code. <laughs> choose one. Uh, charge them. Creatures you control get plus two plus zero until it's turn. <laughs> or the other ones, befriend them. Create two one Ragam creature tokens. <laughs> um, it's pretty funny. That's a thing in D and D one point oh. Yeah. Uh, basically, you roll on the encounter table to see what you encounter, right? Okay. Or the DM does, and then he also rolls to see. Bless. <coughs> Thank you. Like, how they feel about you, whatever creature <laughs> it is. Right. And so, like, you can just befriend, like, a dragon or whatever. Right? Oh, okay, because they're like, they don't hate you, or they they're, they like you a lot for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. And, like, it's literally the difference between attacking you and just helping you out or whatever. Yeah. Which is so. pretty cool, actually. Yeah. All right, Goblin Instigator. All right, Battlefield, create a 1-1 one -one Goblin. He's a 1-1 one -one for 2, so just another way of getting two 1-1 one -one Goblins for 2 uh, Hashalik Mars. Three drop legendary. Uh, when he or another goblin you control dies, he does one damage to any target. Pay four. Sacrifice a goblin. Create two one one red goblin creatures. So he's also a form of doubling your goblins. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very it's a very slow process. It's a very slow process because it's like you have to sack one to gain on one. So you. Lose, lose one, gain two. So it's a very slow process, but you can do it as many times as you want. Right. As long as you have four mana, because it costs four mana each time you do it, which isn't great, but it's something. 
Okay, a break. Instant. Choose one. It deals three damage to target creature or destroy target artifact. And then Goblin Chieftain, of course. Obviously. Yeah. Can't have Him can't alongside uh, Raging Goblin were staples for a long time. Of course. So why not? I mean, he's three drop for everybody gets plus one, plus one in haste. It's like, yep. no brainer. Okay, Mod War Marshal. It's Echo 2. Beginning of your upkeep, it just came into your control lap since the beginning of your last upkeep. Sacrifice it. Okay, but when it enters the battlefield or dies, create a 1 1 red goblin creature token. But he's only two mana, so he comes out, you get a token, and then when he dies, you get another token. Or you can save him, I guess, but it's not really worth it. Because he's two mana and you'll get two goblins. So your hope is that he'll come out, and then him dying will activate some other ability, but also um, he might have haste, so he might be able to help you that turn. It doesn't matter. Really Trigger's command. Goblin Rally. <laughs> Put four Roman or Goblin creature tokens on the battle. Okay, Goblin War Chief. Goblin spells you cast cost one less to play. Goblins you control have haste. So he's another really good one, because he's he doesn't give him haste. Oh, he doesn't give him, he doesn't give him plus one plus one. Like Chieftain does, but he makes them cost one colorless less. So Chieftain would cost only two mana to play when he's out. Which is why 20,000 tons of high octane haste. Carnivora. Yeah, so he's really useful. Okay. Oh. Okay. Praise Caesar Dragon. Flying. Devour two. Then the battlefield, you may sacrifice two creatures. He enters with twice that many puzzles. So I can sacrifice two goblins, and he'll have, uh... He'll be an 8-8 when he comes out. For six men. And when he attacks, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of puzzles you have. So he's just a fun little filler. That takes advantage of the cheap goblins that I have. Uh, Skirt Prospector. This one is, is also part of the combo. Because he's a one-drop, one-one, with sacrifice a goblin, add one to mana to your mana pool. So he goes with the infinite uh, Snoop boy, mm -hmm. so that you can, if you have him out, you can sacrifice all the token Snoops and gain that much mana, and then proceed to play all your goblins yeah. on, on your entire deck. Okay, Goblin Slayer. Sacrifice a goblin. Target creature gets plus one plus one until end. Founder Street Denizen. Whenever another red creature enters the battlefield under control, he gets plus one plus zero until end. So he's he's shit. But, um, I got all these cards, and then I thought about it, I was like, you know what I really should have done, was get Altar of the Brood for it. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, crap. So I ordered an Altar of the Brood. It'll come in eventually. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna train, uh, swap out Founder Street Denizen for it. Because Founder Street Denizen is a 1-1 one -one with ability that only lasts until the end of the turn, which is great. So, I'm like, out of all the goblins in the whole deck, I think he's the least useful. Yeah. And he's only a one drop, so I won't change my mana balance at all. Alright, here's here's a good one. Sword of the the Paroons. Or the Paroons. It's a four drop artifact equipment. Okay, as long as equipped creature is tapped. Uh, is tapped. Tapped creatures I control get plus two, plus zero. <laughs> so if they attacking, they get the most. Yeah. As long as equipped creature is untapped untapped creatures I control get plus zero plus two. So defense. Yeah. But the main thing is pay three. You may tap or untap equipped creature. Three of them. So put them on Cranko so that you can intuitively use them. You can basically. just use them as much man and along with, you know, having like Skirk Prospector and the other one out so that you can gain infinite mana basically and then you can just infinitely do it and they all have haste and you just destroy your opponents on Part of the thing. Okay, Goblin Ringleader. Haste. Uh, when it comes into play, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all Goblin cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest of the bottom of your library. So, four mana for a 2 2, and you get four Goblin cards in your hand. Wait. No, not necessarily four, but get cards in your hand. Uh, Mog Fanatic. Uh, sacrifice it, it deals one damage to target creature or player. <laughs> That's it. He's a 1 1. Goblin. Yeah. Uh, Dark Dweller Oracle. Uh, pay one, sacrifice a creature, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Goblin War Driver, Battle Cry. 
So whenever this creature attacks, each other attacking creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Uh, Legion War Boss. Uh, Mentor. When this creature attacks, put a plus one counter on target, attacking creature with lesser power. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token. That token gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat table. So he's a way of also getting goblins. Portaling Outburst, Dragon Fodder. Uh, Beetleback Chief. Uh, when there's a battlefield, put two one or a goblin creature tokens on the other. He's a four good. Devilish Valet. Trample Haste. When another creature ends battlefield under control, double Devilish Valet's power until end of turn. So he can be really, really crazy. Yeah. He'll be like with the Snoop thing, or even just with like portaling outbursts. Because it counts as three instances of uh, creatures. Yeah. So it'll go, he's a 1 1. So basically, first one comes out, he's a 2 2. Second one comes out, he's a 4 4. And then uh, third one comes out, he's an 8 8 until end of turn. Or, well, I guess it doubles his power, right? So he's an 8 3. His power doesn't Still go. Still crazy. He's, yeah, but for 3 mana, he just becomes really big until end of turn. He's pretty nice. And you could, like, infinitely copy him. Yeah, I can copy him using... Uh, he's a Devil Warrior, though. But I can copy him using uh, the Kika Bitch Boy. Yeah. Create a token of him. And then when that creature enters, it, it procs him. It's very, very fun. Uh, Torch Courier. Haste. Uh, sacrifice it. Another target creature gains haste on it until end of turn. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that tries to give Cranko haste as soon as possible. Because of the fact that I've only had to one card of each. Alright, Goro Goro, Disciple of Yusi. Legendary creature. Uh, it's a goblin samurai. Pay one. Creatures you control gain haste until end of turn. Uh, pay five. Create a 5-5 five, five red dragon spirit creature token with fly. Activate only if you control an attacking modified creature. Equipment or is over counters. But he's two mana to drop for a 2-2. Two, two and one mana to activate his haste thing. So it's similarly to Chieftain. So another haste. His dragon ability is cool here. I'm not going to use it. But it gives me flyer. So. Alright, Massive Raid. Massive Raid deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of creatures you control. For three mana. That could be three mana to end somebody's life. Forgotten Cave. Hand battle tapped. Add one red to your mana. Pay one to cycle. Boop. We're almost there. Now this deck, I, th I think it's gonna be okay. It's yeah, not it's a. It's definitely gonna be better than my deck, Goblins. Yeah, it's not foolproof, obviously, but I. Well, nothing ever is. Yeah, but I also wasn't. I was purposely trying not to build a deck that could just rail you guys. Obviously. Because. You'd never get to play. Exactly. So this deck, I think, will be better, but still can be defeated, especially because it's really susceptible to board wipes. So if you can board wipe me. Right. Then I'm kind of, you know, unless I can get all of my goblins onto the field, and then I'm fine. Because I can just sack tokens to save everybody. Unless they can't be regenerated. So it's like a whole, it's a whole fucking thing. But, anyways, yeah. Okay. Field of Ruin. Uh, tap for one red. Pay two, sacrifice it. Destroy target non basic land and opponent controls. Each player searches their library for a basic land card, puts on the battlefield, and shuffles. Okay. Rising of the Day. Creatures you control have haste. Legendary creatures you control get plus one plus zero. So another haste boy. Yeah. For three mana. Making Krenko a four four. Or four three. Yeah. The biggest thing is haste. Because yeah. I always want to make by by the time that I can play Krenko, I want to have haste out. Okay. In some fashion. Because why wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't I want that? <laughs> I need it to happen, because I need him to come out and then just fucking start shitting goblins as fast as possible. Okay, and the soul ring. This is a guarantee. Squee Dubious Mana. Legendary creature. Haste. Whenever he attacks, create a 1-1 one, one Red Goblin creature token that's attacked and attacking. You may cast Squee Dubious Mana from your graveyard by paying 4 and exiling 4 other cards from your graveyard rather than paying its mana cards. So, he's okay. He's a 3-drop 2-2 two, two with haste that creates a token when he attacks, which is okay. But, and then his other abilities, okay as well. Because it's four mana, exile four cards from your graveyard, and he comes back to life. Which is helpful for against a board wipe, but not by much. 
Yeah. But it'll help Cranko build up his arm, build up the army faster, because Cranko will obviously come back. So. Alright. Shatter the source. Convoke. Uh, choose one. Deal six damage to target creature, planeswalker, or battle. Or destroy target artifact. There's a six drop convoke. So that's pretty helpful. <laughs> Don't die, Brady. I did. Oh, Brady! Okay. Battle squadron. Goblin. Fly. Uh, power and toughness equal to the number of creatures I control. So, he's a five drop. But, he could be really big. I'm gonna die. Brandon, no! Immediately, too. Uh, Path of Ancestry. And his benefit tap, add one man of any color in your commander's color identity. When that man is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. Hell yeah. So, basically, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be helping me cycle as well. Which is, I mean, if I get it, but you get the picture. Yeah, no, I understand. All right, Witty Roastmaster. He's a devil. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control, it deals one damage to each opponent. You have a Raging Goblin in it? Raging? Yeah, it's just a one drop, one one face. Probably not. That is all he does. I don't think I have him in here, because I don't think he's with it. He's the go-to, or he's was before Legion Loyalist existed. Yeah, I don't even think I have a Legion Loyalist in here. Maybe. I don't remember. Pathetic. We'll not a real goblin deck. Yeah, he doesn't Not a real goblin deck. I mean, honestly, the Legion Duelist is pretty good, but... I know! I didn't see him necessary in this deck. Well, yeah, just because he's not necessary doesn't mean anything. You don't Without mean him, anything. he's not, it's not a real goblin deck. It's also. It's not a real goblin deck. Well, he's gonna, this goblin deck's gonna fuck you. Not a real goblin deck. It doesn't have raging goblin in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just has only a bunch of other goblins in it. Yep, not a real goblin deck. And its commander is Cranko. Doesn't, not a real goblin deck. <laughs> Alright, Thrill of Possibility. Is this a cost to cast this spell, discard a card, draw two cards? Ooh, I didn't know they made this though. For a while. Quest for the Goblin Lord. It's like Quest for my Grave Lord. But for goblins. And whenever a goblin enters a battlefield under control, you may put a quest counter on it. As long as he has five or more counters on it, each second control get plus two plus zero. And getting to five goblins is fucking easy. Yeah. The tin train. All right, goblin lookout. Tap it, sacrifice a goblin. All goblins get plus two plus zero. Two, two. Goblin matron. Uh, enters the battlefield. You may search your library for a goblin card, reveal that card, and put it in your hand, then shuffle. So another fetching kind of thing. Goblin motivator. Tap it. Target creature gains hasty turn. Another hasty board. Hobgoblin bandit board. Other goblins you can get plus one plus one. Uh, tap it. Pay one. He deals damage equal to the number of goblins that enter the battlefield under control this turn to any target. That's rough. I think I just got a text. Probably yeah. from Grandma. Probably. All right. Uh, Gem palm incinerator. Cycling two. Uh, when you cycle him. You may have it deal X damage to target creature where X is the number of goblins on the battle. So, he's mostly for that ability. Because otherwise he's a 3-drop, 2-1 goblin. So, he's mostly for the cycling ability. Alright, Ferocity of the Wilds. Chant attacking non-human creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0, and then trample. So, that's pretty good. Uh, Rundevelt. Wait, Rundevelt. Horde Master. Other goblins get... Plus plus one. Whenever uh, he or another goblin you control dies, exile the top card of your library. If it's a goblin creature card, you may cast that card until the end of your next turn. So, that's helpful. Hey, hey, hey. You know what it is? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm playing a game. How dare you? Basically, whenever a creature I control dies, or a goblin or him, uh, I get to exile the top card. And then play it, and then play it. Give it to Goblin Card. You get to play it. Oh, yeah. my next turn. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So. Okay, Battle Cry Goblin. Pay two. Goblin creatures you control get plus almost zero and gain haste until on the turn. Whenever Battle Cry Goblin attacks, if you attack with creatures with total power of six or greater in this combat, create a one or Goblin creature token that's tapped and attack. Just one. Uh, volley, volley Veteran. Enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target creature and opponent controls equal to the number of goblins you control. Another fuck you to your shit. Ready for a boss fight? And then Krenko, 10 Street Kingpin. You attack for puzzle counter on it. Then create a number of one one grab gone creature tokens. Look, it's Pain and power. Terror. Oh! Nice. Do you know who they're referencing? Nope. Penn and Teller. 
which is some, some famous ma magicians. Oh, okay. Nice. So the only sad thing is I haven't tested it, and also I haven't shuffled it that much. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna find that it's not gonna run too super well for the first like couple rounds. Oh, what a big man. The Agonizer 9000, jeez. Don't mess this up for me, Brady. I guess I put a, should have put a Nick though, Shrine of Nick's in here. Would have been helpful. Would have been helpful, but fucking expensive. I think this whole deck costs cost me like 50 something bucks. That is not bad. No, it's really not. It's literally cost as much as a pre-build. Or like a Nick those. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a Nick those. That's yeah. what I was referencing. I was like, literally a Nick those would have cost me that much money. Which is insane, by the way. That's one, yeah, of, the, no. that's one of the reasons why my zombie deck is so expensive. It's got three of those in it. Freaking... Yeah, I have a planeswalker in my dragons called Ugin, the spirit dragon, and he currently is like 30 bucks, but for 60 you can get a full art borderless version of it. Oh, wow, we. I know, crazy. That's freaking, that is insane. That's Absolutely bad. nutty. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to look up and make those, because <laughs> goodness knows it's going to be expensive. Yeah. We knew that already. That's why we said what we've said about Nick stuff. Shiny mix. Oh, well, this one's only $22. I guess they're not as expensive as you think. That's fine. Okay, cool. Not too bad. They're not, yeah, they're not too bad. Yeah, that's a lot better than I thought it was. I, I thought, literally thought it was be like 40 bucks for it. Right. So did I. Genuinely. They're just so good. They Crazy. really are. Especially monocolor decks. Oh, yeah. Nikos is broken. Oh, yeah. Soup's broken. Oh, uh, you know what I should have put in this deck? It wouldn't have served any real practical purpose. But the, um, that one artifact that's like a 15 drop that lets me tap for infinite mana. Oh, the Mox Lotus. What? It's, it's Mox Lotus. Yeah. Oh, is it Mox Lotus? Yeah, it's Mox Lotus. You think I'm crazy? Yeah. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I'm yeah. right. I think it would have been funny, because I could have played it using all the goblin mana shit that's in there. But also... <laughs> it wouldn't have been worth it. It literally wouldn't do shit. Because I have the infinite goblin mana, and then I just kill my opponents immediately after that, instead of wasting my time and playing a fucking infinite mana card. Yeah. I'll take your money, but that's just Oh my god, you're dead. What the heck is happening? Fucking that bitch, bro. Oh, you heal? Like, while you're in down mode? I do. Yeah, you do. What, what gives you that ability? Uh, it's one of my Bolt Hunter abilities. Whenever I'm moving and I just have passive regen. Oh. Oh, well, I'm dead. Ooh, you survived. Barely. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see how the Goblin deck, how this deck runs. Yeah, so am I. Because obviously, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope it's fast. Not too fast. You know, it's just... Yeah, I hope it's just right like a golden bus. that you guys, like, can, can, can shit, defeat it. Fuck, shit, fuck, damn it. Some of your health things not going up. Oh, my poor boy. He just was down. <laughs> He's freaking murked. Yeah, this boss is a lot. Of He's not that hard or anything. He's just annoying. It just takes forever to kill. It's, it's a process to get rid of that boy. Oh, dude, it was so funny. I uh, came in here, right, to uh, what was it? Say, do something. So yeah. It was to do something. And fucking, like, I came in here and the AC was off. Really? Yeah, and then as soon, but like almost as, as soon as I came in here, the AC turned back on because of Baby. Oh. So Baby had turned the AC off. And turned it back on and on accident. And turned it back on. Yeah. It was so, 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 it was so silly. 
so 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 I guess the only good part is he has a lot of crit points. Yes. Yeah, let's see. His eyes. Oh yeah. His chest has one. Most his balls is one. <laughs> I mean, He's mostly just a critical hit point. Yeah. It is funny. Do I have a level? So I texted um, E Wheels, right? Which is Jason, basically. The main guy that I respond to is Jason. Yeah. But um, I texted him, or emailed him, and I was asking him, like, hey, have we gotten, like, uh, like, get, do you have any word on, like, when, like, the guy is going to message me back to, to try, try again, Shit. or. Like, any information on, like, why it didn't work the first two times we tried it. Like, just, just let me know. And he's like, his response was, grr, the, and something. I, I'm going to, let's it. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah, get him, Braden, get him. Touch his ass. Beat him up. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh. Okay, I asked him to send me like a picture of the the label on the new battery to make sure we didn't accidentally put the old one back into the wheel. He sent it to me and it, it, we didn't. At least I'm pretty sure we didn't because the one he sent me was not the one we have in the box right now. <laughs> so, I would assume as much. Okay. okay. And then, uh, alright, here you go. So I was like, have you gotten any information from InMotion about when the next attempt at unlocking my vehicle will be? Or why the first two attempts weren't successful? And then he said, grr, and of course they don't work on Saturdays. I sent another prod about the case. Just to let you know, the warranty technically expired three months ago. Of course, we'll try our best to help you regardless. But it's always a bit of a faff trying to coordinate with China with the time zone difference. Uh, we'll be in touch once I hear back from them. And I have to say thank you, I appreciate it. And he says, for sure, all in the line of duty. But, yeah. Yay. What? Just really slowly killing this boss. Yeah. Combined with the fact that I don't have a vehicle. You do. You have a scooter, bro. Yeah, that is not a vehicle. That is a vehicle. That, what do you mean? That is a piece of garbage. You can literally go anywhere in town. And that back. doesn't mean it's not garbage. That means it's a vehicle. <laughs> doesn't change what I just said. Yeah, but you said it wasn't a vehicle, and I said yes, it was. So it is a vehicle. Even if it, even if it's a trash vehicle, it's still a vehicle. Okay, I consider it more of a vehicle than your. Your electric longboard is. Well, that's because my electric longboard is a pleasure thing. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, I was telling Shay that technically you like the scooter more than you like the bike. Technically, I guess, yeah. <laughs> because you don't ride your board anywhere, because it's not comfortable to ride in places. But you ride the scooter. <laughs> that doesn't mean I like the scooter more. No, technically it means you like the scooter more. Technically. For going places. And like using it as an actual vehicle. You technically like the scooter more. It's like, a, like, it's like a weird form of life. Yeah. Because it's not like you like it. And you do like your board more. But you like it as a vehicle more. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Still fun. He's right my life insurance, too. No, you're done. No. Whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> Life insurance! He can't come save me, he's down no, too. No, kill that guy. I'm working. Reload your gun! Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> dead. Well, fuck. Basically. <laughs> Unless I get a crit and destroy his face or something. <laughs> oh, God, how long have you been fighting this freaking battle? Feels like it's been forever. Like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's been forever. It's a long fight, too. 
It's a cool fight. I like the reference and everything, but come on. Oh, yeah, god damn. I don't know what you've been told. No, I'm gonna see if I can fit all of my magic cards into this freaking cooler. Since it's not doing anything right now, and technically it's my cooler. Not technically, it is my cooler. I don't was, there was no technical about it. <laughs> Did I give it to you? Because I thought I stole it from... Oh! Shit. Actually, you know what? I think... It... I, no, this was sitting in the backyard. Oh, was and, it? And I took it from the backyard to make uh. the thing. And that the reason I know is because it's all sun bleached like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So I didn't buy it. Never mind. I thought I bought it and actually brought it over. But no, I just ripped it out of your backyard. But I think I can fit most of my magic in this box. Totally. Um, okay, I take it back. I can fit probably six. Commander decks make it a little bit more difficult because it's a bigger box. Yeah, like it's a hundred cards. Yeah, but I, I can make that work. I can make this work. Oh yeah, I can, I can fit a lot of cards. I just want to see if I can get all my magic cards kind of like in a single box. So if I ever go to like the card shop or something, I just have to go out of a single box. Right. But it also makes it easier here too. So if they're not all just sprung about, easily able to be like just maneuvered random places. Right. Which is always the worst. You know? The tenders are... So I was thinking about getting an actual, like, box of some kind. To do all that, just throw it all in. Mm -hmm. But I haven't found one yet. So. That's the <laughs> I would prefer something that's not a cardboard box. Thanks. Is now a bad time to tell you that I forgot to start recording? Sure. <laughs> you don't believe me? I don't believe you. Why not? I have eyes this time. <laughs> you had eyes every other time I've mentioned it. Doesn't mean I noticed it. <laughs> Stop dying. I trusted you. I gave my hopes and dreams to you. You break in my heart. Oh. Mm. Legendary RC crawler. No. Somebody doesn't know how to spell legendary. It's cool, but I don't know why it's legendary. Hey, you made it to this part again. It's not even that hard to get to this part. It's after this part that's the problem. <laughs> Good scrub. Braden wants to be the very best. Like no one ever was. He will fail a hundred times before he accomplishes anything. Ah! Person, okay? Ouch. He's not doing this to you because he doesn't like it. Just do it. stuck on weird geometry or something damn like god damn this guy fuck yeah the popular demand that's it just popular demand
hundred dollars for all. That sounds awesome. A hundred bucks for two trucks, three boats, and a small buggy. Mostly toy driven. Pretty sure. Josh Braden, get in hardcore focus mode. Damn. That's why I wasn't talking. Get this shit done. Susie talks. It's just, he just fucking perishes. His attention was split for like three seconds. And as soon as that happened, he was over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to show you replay after replay. Did it. Yes. It only took me three tries. Was it, oh, really? Only three? Yeah. Like, three tries in like 20 minutes. So, oh it's yeah, a long boss fight. I uh, I started listening to uh, Aragon. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of it so far? It's it's interesting so far. And obviously, I'm not that far into it. I think all I have is um, oh, what is it? Fucking. Farmhouse got burned down. Yeah, it's super. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I'm not. Super. I'm, I'm really not that far. I yeah. literally barely started listening to it. Yeah. Yeah, his farmhouse got burned down. That's about it, I think. I don't remember what came after it. Look, she's a siren. What? How did that happen? Go ahead, make your observation. You are a siren. Yes, that is how I have been speaking in your head and charging the vault keys. As for my particular powers, I am able to manipulate machines and anything else with the current. It is known as phase shifting. You've you always been a siren? From a guardian angel. Did you hear that? Secret, but best laid plans, robotic murder machine. Well, you and now the whole galaxy knows. I'm a star. <laughs> See you back aboard Sanctuary Vault Hunter. Oh, and thank you for the rescue. What'd she say? Uh, she said you could call it a gift from a guardian angel. Okay. Angel gave her her powers. Oh. Yeah. Right, because that was Angel's ability. Yep. I forgot about that. It's been so long. What's a boy? What do you smell? What? Doubt. You don't go. You don't sigh for no reason. Now that you have money, why don't you spend it with me? Yeah. So that I eventually end up with everything. Hmm. Hey, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, bitch. I'm gonna be so close.
Nice. You just kick freaking blades. Buzz says. <laughs> hey, killer. Thanks for rescuing Tannis. Like no matter what happens, I can always count on you. I wanted to tell you, but these days being a siren puts a target on your back. We should deal with the matter at hand. Though the Vault Hunter cut off the Calypso's pledge drive, they have already collected massive amounts of iridium. They are preparing to use it for something. Perhaps to open the Great Vault. The Great Vault is real. Is that what you are implying? Yeah, I'm with the Vault Hunter. What? I am merely addressing the evidence we have at hand. Lilith, if the Great Vault is real, there must be a creature of incredible power within. Calypso's are already be. monsters. I don't want to see what happens if they steal that kind of power. When I was taken, they held me at a stronghold where they were amassing all of their iridium offerings. Whatever their plan entails, it will happen there. Then that's where we strike. Killer, head down to Roland's rest. Tell Vaughn to rally the raiders. We're ending this. <laughs> Blood feud. <laughs> Dude, I love how pristine that cushion looks. It's because we use these ones and they're shitty. Yeah. I mean, it's shitty, not uh, leather. You know. Yeah, yeah. But it's just funny because that one's like pristine. You know? Just unfazed. I mean, we used it at the beginning. Yeah, back a little bit. Back when we all like sat over here at the same time. Regularly. But then we stopped. And I blame Connor. <laughs> Fair. It was actually his fault. Entirely. Well, gave he up. can't hear us. No. But he gave up. He let us down. That's right. Our YouTube channel used to have three members. Now it's only two. Yeah, except for the occasional videos that you guys make and put out. They're not occasional. They're super common. I mean, Currently. Right now. <laughs> until they're not anymore. Until October. Yeah. Until they're, they aren't anymore for the next, like, three years. Yeah. Still loading in the textures? Jeez. It's a big game. I honestly was waiting for him to pop. <laughs> oh, he's invisible. Where'd he go? Oh. Shoots the ally. Getting close to the part that I'm excited about. Yeah, what's that? Um, the, the thing. So you think we're about halfway through the storyline? Maybe. Do you have no idea? Take that as a yes. He has no idea. I vaguely know. He's big. Wasn't that gonna do that? What? Connect one of the Xbox controllers to the computer wirelessly? Yeah, I thought you did, and then you handed me this, so. I completely Whatever. forgot. Okay, I have to do it. After this episode, while the PS4 stuff's loading. Yeah. Won't use it, but it'll happen. And I'll have to remember that I did it! <laughs> What'd you do? Pick to yourself? I can't help it! Here you go, picking at yourself some more. Still going. Yep. I can't help it! <laughs> Bleeding on everything. Only myself, so it's okay. It's not okay. It's never okay. Let the dog out. Maybe. She said it was important. <laughs> yeah, we all know what important is. It's always important. Hey, I hear we're launching an attack on the Calypso stronghold. It's about time! I'm all in, bro. I'm through being the Calypso's plaything. Blood feud! Hear me, 
Okay, I found it. Brunettes. This is our moment. We're gonna ride to the Calypso's gates and show those posers what happens Stop when it, with the Can't Raiders. help it. You're making it take longer to heal. I don't care. You Crypt should care. Raiders. Well, I don't. Into the breach. All right, well, we can end it here. We'll we'll go into the breach soon. Will we? Will we? Yeah, next episode. What if I want to go into the breach right now? Nah, we'll go next episode. <laughs> okay, well, I guess if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. Definitely go check out our other channel. And until next time, peace out. Bye-bye.